guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Today's video is our favorite video and that's a Dollar Tree haul. Dun, da, da, da. But this is a Dollar Tree grocery haul. I'm here to share all the groceries that I got from Dollar Tree. My next video is going to be a full day of eating only food from the Dollar Tree. So I wanted to do a grocery haul so that I could share with you guys what I picked up for that. And there's a bunch of really amazing food items. If you guys have not tried the Dollar Tree food, hopefully this video gives you an idea of what they have, what they're bringing out, because they really are adding some new, amazing, kind of healthy-ish things in there that I'm really excited about. I've been trying to come up with some budget-friendly recipes to share in that video, so I'm not just going to be like throwing things together that are already made. We're going to try to come up with things that you could buy at the regular grocery store or you can buy at the Dollar Tree and have good meals, not just for yourself, but for your family as well. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel before you go, and without further ado, let's get started with the thing that I was most excited about. So I don't know if I should do the whole song and dance if the thing that I was most excited about is dun, 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 cauliflower broccoli rice you know you're old when you're excited about some cauliflower broccoli rice so this is from the brand TJ farms it's the riced veggies cauliflower and broccoli I get this one from the grocery store it comes in a pack it has olive oil and peppers so I want to try to make a Dollar Tree version of that it is so good when it's kind of like cooked on the stove kind of like crispy it tastes just like rice I haven't had this brand so I'm excited to give it a try and we'll be trying it and doing reviews and all that stuff that I do in the full day of eating videos so I'm excited. Also from that same brand, TJ Farm Select, we have Cut Leaf Spinach. This was my first time seeing this. It looks pretty good. The size of the bag is nice. It is microwavable. I don't own a microwave, so I never microwave anything. So if you do microwave, sometimes it's a little bit soggier. I definitely would recommend putting this into a recipe or something. Sometimes Dollar Tree veggies can be soggy. So this is from the same brand. It just looks different. It's the broccoli cuts. I'm not really a big fan of this style of broccoli because normally it has like a bunch of stems in it. But if you're only doing it for like one meal, I guess it's fine. So we're going to get through that. And then I also saw this one. It's the seasoning blend onion, celery, red, and green bell pepper and parsley. That is going to be fantastic for this soup that I'm going to make that I'm so excited about. Sarah's getting a little daring. Sarah is daring because I went and got Dollar Tree shrimp. So we're going to use this. I have never had Dollar Tree shrimp. This is the thaw and served cooked shrimp it's from the brand rising tide i got three packs of them because there's not very much i guess three servings you know would be good for my little family of four i call it three and a half because quincy's so stinking picky so it's like really three and a half people but um this is fully cooked they're just like these little tiny ones so we're going to use this in a way a good meat option that i've gotten a bunch of times at dollar tree are the jenny o turkey burgers so i got four of those because it's for a meal um, but the good thing about this is it's just ground turkey that's it it's ground turkey with a little bit of paprika I believe yeah okay so it's turk it's ground turkey and then rosemary extract and salt so definitely be careful if you're salting your recipe but you can use this just like you would ground turkey it's 5.33 ounces that's why I get four and you get a good amount with it it's not small and when you cook it up and just chop it up, it tastes just like ground turkey. So you can use it in recipes for like tacos. You can do it for spaghetti sauce. If you're on a tight budget or if it's just like one person, if I was just like a single person, Dollar Tree is where I would find a lot of food because it's smaller ounces. You don't get as much as when you go to the grocery store, but you don't, you also don't have to pay as much. So like one person could have one of these for a meal and that's really all you need. But we got four for the family. I also got one of the jumbo cheese raviolis. I feel like I've had these before. I'm just not sure, but you can never go wrong with ravioli. The last frozen thing I have is from Jimmy Dean. It's the original sausage links. There are a couple different versions of sausage. They have like the circle ones. You get six little links in here, perfect for one person, perfect for my two kids. Like I normally just will split this in half, cook them on the stove and they like them. So that's what they're gonna be having for breakfast. A long while ago, I made a video all about Dollar Tree cheese, how they sell a bunch of different versions of Dollar Tree cheese. Some of them are slices, some of them are shreds, but none of it was like real cheese. It didn't say cheese on there. They really couldn't add advertise it as cheese. I did a whole thing where I lit it on fire. I'll link that video down below if you want to see. It's super old, so please bear with me. You know, the older the videos, the bad, the worse the quality, the weirder I am. So <laughs> if you want to see it, it's still up there. Um, but they have added in some different ones. This one is Lakeview cheese. This is mild cheddar cheese. It's real cheddar cheese. The th only thing that concerns me about this cheese is the expiration date. I'm thinking... How can it be good until February 2021? That's like six months away. 
I don't really know, but we're going to try it out. And then I got this one in cheddar, and then I got this one in mozzarella. This is low moisture mozzarella cheese, just pasteurized milk, cheese culture, salt enzymes, like literal cheese. So this is a really good option if you're on a budget to try this out. This one expires March 2021. I'm like, dang, I got to check my other cheese. I don't know how long it lasts. I don't normally check, but... We're going to give this a try. And then I also got one of the vitamin D milk. This is ultra pasteurized. I think this means that it's whole milk, but I'm going to use this in a recipe. I also picked up a thing of eggs. This is medium eggs. A dozen eggs for a dollar is not a bad deal. I was pretty happy with that. Sometimes when you're lucky, you can find real butter there. I have been able just to find like one stick of butter for a dollar, which is a good deal. I would have preferred that, but they didn't have any. So I had to get this imperial vegetable oil spread. I'm not a huge fan of this, like a margarine. I would prefer regular butter, but we're going to work with what we got to be able to get it for a dollar. It's not bad. So, you know what I mean? You could have eggs, butter, cheese, all those little things for just a couple of dollars. I think it's perfect. Share this with people that are in college. These are all college friendly things that you can get on a budget and actually have real meals. I see a lot. Of, I never went to college. So props to anyone that did. But I see a lot of people always say like, oh, all I eat is ramen. I'm like, yeah, you could just eat ramen or you could go to the Dollar Tree and have like a decent a decent meal it's not going to be super healthy but i think it's definitely better than having ramen every night for dinner so definitely get the butter at the dollar tree if you're in a pinch some of my dollar trees have really good bread sections and then some of them don't but ones that do have a decent bread selection have these bagels from i don't know how it's said ellie's i'm thinking but they have plain i think they have cinnamon raisin you get four bagels in here for a dollar which is a pretty decent deal but i like to have these and you can just put them in the freezer if you need to do a quick breakfast sandwich then you can take them out and it's just a way to like preserve them here's one of the marie calendar blueberry muffin mix i'm not sure if i'm going to make this but i wanted to try it because i really do love marie calendar i think she has good stuff like pre-made meals and stuff but i'm excited to try this and see how it is i also got the F harvest hill pancake and waffle mix complete buttermilk mix now I hate the syrup I do not recommend buying the syrup but I want to give this a try because I can make waffles in the waffle maker so I'm going to make that for the kids and then I got just regular pure sugar cane I love this one because it's unbleached it's like sugar I would consider it kind of like sugar in the raw if you've had that one it's not as thick but it has like that kind of like touch of like brown sugar. It's really nice. I got one of these really big ultra thin pizza crust. This is from Golden Home. Now they have them in like a little small version. So like a personal size. This one is 4.75 ounces and it has all the little holes. So you guys know I've been making, well if you don't know, I've been making pizza at home and I feel like I do a really good pizza. So I'm excited to try this to see how it compares. And I also got the Pantry Essentials pizza sauce, which I've had, I have used this before on the kids pizza when I make them here and they do like it. So we're going to use this and the sauce to make pizza on the grill. I also have one more frozen item. It's from Baker's Best. It's the baked soft pretzels. I've made this in a recipe before, but we're going to do some cinnamon sugar pretzels. My kids like them. I enjoy them. So we're going to use this. You get six in here for a dollar, which is pretty good. And they're a decent size. They're not bad. So I got those. If you guys have tried these, let me know. So I do have some snack items that I want to show. So this is from Metro Deli. You get three packs of the kettle cooked chips. I have never had these before, but they look pretty good. So I'm excited to try those. I got one little thing of the goldfish. My kids obsessed. They love goldfish. And this is a pretty decent size. I feel like the box has gotten a little bit bigger. Four ounces for a dollar. That's not really a good deal because you can get, if you find goldfish on sale, you can get them for super cheap. But literally the worst deal on cereal ever is this dollar tree version but i want to make this popcorn trail mix and we need some type of cereal so i got this one 3.5 ounces for a dollar i just don't feel like it's a fantastic deal but this is the honey nut cheerios my husband is a huge fan of the energy blend of nuts so every time i go there i pick them up for him this one has honey roasted peanuts honey roasted sesame sticks almonds walnuts pecans so it has like that kind of sugary taste and i i like a sugary mix i also got this this one is island's choice honey roasted peanuts these are also salted and then this i think is an amazing deal the jolly time yellow popcorn you get like a what it says one pound and four ounce bag of uncooked popcorn kernels you can butter it yourself you can salt it yourself or you can do with it as you please but it's like it's kind of fun to make it old school style with the lid on and everything so we're going to make this and use that in the mix rather than buying the individual bags because remember i don't have a i don't have a microwave and i do enjoy this popcorn i've had this a bunch of times 
So here is the Penny Sticks brand of pretzels. You get 12 ounces for a dollar. It's just like the little tiny pretzels. I would not be me if I did not go to Dollar Tree and get candy. So I got Sour Patch Watermelons and Butterfingers. These are like so good. I love them. These ones, I like those a lot, a lot, a lot. So this was my first time seeing this brand of crouton. Maybe I just passed it by and I haven't gotten it, but I wanted to try it. It's cheese and sesame croutons. Sounds pretty good. I don't think I'm going to use it in the what I eat in a day, but I am going to use this on a salad. And then we have the Domino Light Brown Sugar. We're going to use this for overnight oats to make maple brown sugar um, overnight oats. And I really enjoy getting this at Dollar Tree. I always get like the confection sugar there. I get this one. They have regular boxes of sugar. I'm not sure you guys can let me know. Is it smaller the size that comes at the grocery store? Because this is a one pound thing of sugar, which seems pretty reasonable for a dollar. So you guys let me know. I got two things of chicken broth. This is from Kendale Farm. I hope I'm saying that right. This is just the natural, no added MSG, gluten-free chicken broth. I got two of those for a soup recipe. I got one thing of whole kernel sweet corn from Green Giant. And then we got two things of the Prego garlic and herb pasta sauce. So two of those is, it's 18 point five ounces each so I think that'll be a good amount of sauce for the what I eat in a day I got this alkaline water it's Alka 65 it has alcohol it's alkaline water and electrolytes so it restores and hydrates so we're going to drink that during the day I also saw this Canada dry cranberry ginger ale on the go mix packet I have never tried this before but I really like ginger ale so I'm excited to try this so we'll try that in the video and then I love iced tea I'm like a huge iced tea drinker so this is from Lipton it's the iced tea with lemon I'm gonna put it in a pitcher we're gonna try it it's a good like for a dollar that's not bad so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for my coffee in the morning so I decided to get the Nescafe uh, tasters choice instant coffee maybe we could do whipped coffee but just in case, I got the Cafe El Maro, just the regular espresso. This is a good coffee. It's a coffee that I've had a bunch of times. You can use this to make cold brew. It does have like kind of like that bitter taste, which is why I kind of buy the Stoke pre-made cold brew because I don't, I don't really enjoy that bitter taste. So tomorrow we might just be having hot coffee. If we want cold coffee, we're going to do the... For my creamer, I got the Coffee Mate French Vanilla. This is like a little guy for eight ounces personal size on the go keep it in your car keep it in your desk you will never run out of creamer and then i also got lemon juice this is from riverton orchards lemon juice from concentrate 100 percent juice with added ingredients so it has uh, lemon juice lemon oil yeah that's why i never really enjoy this taste because it doesn't taste like real lemon i do enjoy this for cleaning if you have not tried to use lemon juice in your cleaning routine if you want to do like more natural the lemon juice is good one thing that i love to get from dollar tree is the spices they've been adding in so many different ones they have so many to choose from do not sleep on the spices at dollar tree so i got quite a few this one is my favorite one it's the garlic pepper seasoning so inside of it it has salt garlic back black pepper black pepper <laughs> black pepper oregano and sugar this seasoning is like one of the best seasonings it just has everything already in one i really enjoy it so if you have not tried to give it a try i also got this salt free seasoning and these are from supreme tradition in this one they have granulated garlic minced onion orange peel black pepper citric acid crushed red pepper uh, parsley flakes and lemon oil not bad and then this one i was super excited about it's from kingsford but the brand is badia i hope i'm saying that right if i messed it up i'm sorry but it's called the cajun style all-purpose seasoning spicy louisiana classic in here they have uh garlic onion paprika salt and they don't tell you all the other ones. I guess they don't want you to take their secret recipe. But I love this one. They have one that's like the red lobster seasoning. They have quite a few at Dollar Tree. If you go there, pick these up. These are good. And I see them in the regular grocery store as well. So we'll have to try this in our soup and I'll let you know how I like it. So I got two different versions of chicken bouillon because I, I actually didn't read this and I didn't know what the heck it was. But I knew I liked the Goya brand. I don't even know. Are we still supporting Goya? Let me know. I'm not sure about that. Anyway, so this is the uh, powdered chicken bouillon. And then I just got these regular instant bouillon cubes. See, this is from the Pampa brand. So either one of them can be used in a soup. And it's like a good base to add in to give it like that hearty that hearty flavor. <laughs> I am literally such a chef. I'm professional. I am knowing of everything and I am articulate and amazing. So thank you. Take all the advice from me. I'm being sarcastic if you can't tell. 
Okay, moving right along. Supreme Tradition minced garlic. Can't beat it for a dollar. It's good to have. It, I'm sure it's not the best quality, but, and the chunks are a little bit chunkier than I would like, but hey, for a buck, it's not bad. We also got some Texas peat hot sauce. We need this for a recipe. I'm like, I've seen this at the grocery store a lot of times. You can make your own buffalo style chicken wings. All you need is the hot sauce and butter and boom, you got hot, you got buffalo wing sauce. And then we also got this um, Parmesan cheese. This is probably the only one that I would recommend getting because it's a better quality. It's in a smaller container. You only get 2.5 ounces. It's not the best quality grated cheese like on the market. But in a pinch, when you're on a budget, this is going to do the trick. So those were all of the groceries that I got from Dollar Tree. I know it's random, but you have to come back and see the full day of eating only food from the Dollar Tree to see how it all comes together. Hopefully this video inspired you to go look at your Dollar Tree to see what you're able to find. Do not sleep on the Dollar Tree food, y'all, because they have so many amazing things there. And they're always like adding in new stuff. So definitely check it out. Let me know what you think about the video in the comment section down below. If you're a real one that has made it to the end, go ahead and use the word amazing in a funny, snarky, cute kind of way so I can know who the real ones are, who makes it to the end, and I'll feature some of you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. I'm creating content over there as well so you don't want to miss it. I hope you're all doing amazing. I hope you're safe, happy, and healthy, and I will see you guys next time for another video. Bye, you guys.